Greetings 2015. This is Nick, the servant of the Lord, traveling towards Blyville, Arkansas in a very rainy area. 2014 has come and gone, and I hope you're ready for 2015 because more than likely the Lord has many great things in store. First, let's start from the beginning. If you don't know the Lord, then you need to get to know Him. There's no better day than right now for you to be saved. And it's as simple as realizing that you're a sinner, that Jesus Christ is the Savior of the world, that He came to the earth, that He died for your sins, and He rose again to overcome death. You can put your faith in Him right now and be saved. Don't let anybody tell you that it's this big, complicated thing. It's not. It's simple. It's a matter of faith. And as I was listening on the radio moments ago, there were some people talking about how with people that are atheists or agnostics, that it really takes more faith for them to believe in evolution and that just things happened by happenstance than it does to believe in God, that God created the heavens and the earth, that he sent Jesus to be the Savior of the world, God's one and only begotten Son, that, as John 3.16 says, for God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. And that's my prayer now for you that are, that are viewing, that you be saved today. And it's as simple as that. But anyway, onward into 2015, I only had two resolutions to begin this year. First is to read the Bible every day for the 365 days of the year with my family as a family reading. And secondly was to begin uh, what some people are calling an urban garden to grow some of my own food. Now, mind you, uh, me, I'm no farmer. But uh, from some simple steps of some uh, documents that I gathered, it's not that hard to get started. And this is something I would also recommend for all of you out there in YouTube land. Well, with this, I'll bid you a fair adieu and wish you a great, happy 2015. And for those that don't know the Lord, I pray you be saved today. This is the day of your salvation. Adios.